Hey, yo, what's good? My name is Yosh. My name is Jay Small. And today we got like four topics for y'all. First of all, jealous girls. Second, benefits. Third, no good studs. And fourth, cut off. And when we say cut off, we mean one night stands. Let's get it popping with the jealous girls first. What you got, bro? All right. Why is it that? Just because you don't stay with your girl, you know what I'm saying? Your girl can't stay with her home girl. You know what I'm saying? We two studs. What the fuck we gonna do with each other? Not a damn thing, right? No, I don't. You wanna get mad? You know how hard it is to find a good one these days, you know what I'm saying? And now you about to release me to a whole bunch of predators? Come on, man. Some things it's okay to be jealous about. I can see if I was staying with a film. I can see if I was staying with a straight female. But a stud that don't even like studs, they don't, don't even come. On. Like you really don't trust me. You know what I'm saying? Like to a point to where you can't even trust me with another stud. You need to work on yourself. Work on it. Cause that's some that's some what, 16, 15 year old bullshit, right? Next thing is know the difference between your time and homie time. Your time is after I get off of work. Before my homies get to the spot. The next time is when my homies leave the house and when I'm about to take my shower and chill up, like just basically just boo up with you. That's your time. You gotta understand, we gotta we gotta separate the two because some people don't know how to separate friends and girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to balance the two out. So you know what I'm saying? Like, there ain't no point for you to get jealous if you know that you're finna get your time. Especially if the whole time we on the phone, you talk to somebody else anyway. The entire time. But you had the nerve to turn around and basically go off on us because your ass just did the same thing. And now we're doing the shit to you. Get it together. Stop the double standards. Practice what you preach. Straight ass, very white. Thank you. Next one is, you ready to go to the benefits, bro? Let's go, please, man. To I the benefits. To the benefits. To the benefits. All right, first of all, we in the military with them, so we get bread. Half of the time, like, you know what I'm saying, our paychecks just go to the account, or they go to our moms. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we still go out and shop or whatever, but we know how to budget our money, you know what I'm talking about? So, on some real shit, we got medical, dental, and health. But yet, you go fuck with a nigga that... Don't got shit. Still stay at home with their mamas. Ain't bringing you no money. Ain't ain't taking you out. Ain't catering to you. Ain't making sure that you're taken care of. But us with benefits, we take care of it. Right. And then the crazy part is, you not only have benefits. Just because we in the military, you get discounts on every goddamn thing. So we not only get money, we save you money. You feel me? So save when that money. real important time for you come up. Let's go. I got it in the bank. You know what I'm saying? Then we might not even spend that much money on what you want. You know what I'm saying? We get discount what plane tickets, what food, clothes. You want your nails done? Discount. You, you want a coach purse? Discount. discount. You want some Gucci? Discount. discount. You know what I'm saying? You need some new shoes, baby? Discount. discount. You feel me? Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. So now I got money sitting in the savings. Free vacations, yo. Free vacations. Look at where we get stationed at. Las Vegas, mm -hmm. Hawaii, uh, Germany, Korea, like Europe, period. Anywhere in the States, we there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like right there. Tickets co probably cost us maybe like $80 if we do it right. And then, then like, let's say y'all want to go, I don't know, for like Six Flags or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a kid. I know some of y'all is too. It's free. So you want to go eat out afterwards? Let's go. I ain't spend no money on this shit. More money in our pocket. You feel more me? money to do more things. Know what your place is. So when you want to leave somebody with benefits for nobody, you ain't even that fucking smart. So that lets me know I shouldn't have been fucking with your ass in the first place. First place. You know what I'm saying? Give an example. An example, I right, did this right here. So you fucking with a chick, right? She get everything that she want. I'm talking about like left and right. You just basically just breaking bread. 
Like, I mean, taking her shopping, getting a new cell phone. So, I mean, Shada probably went through, like, three cell phones within the last past two months. And it's not strong for those thugs who watch me. It ain't got shit to do with strong. It's just because I got it like that. Because we got it like that, nigga. Yeah. All right. So, then this right here. Shada started fucking with this other nigga or whatever. That cut hair. That cut hair. Cut hair. That Barbara? cut hair. The nigga that I give money to because he can't put gas in this tank. That's where them tips coming in at. So the nigga, home with his mama. So, basically, the nigga that you... Fucking with, it's the nigga that I'm giving money to so he can go spend money on you. I still probably can't even afford it. And half of y'all give away free fucks. Man, can you retire from cutting hair? Hell fucking and no. And still get paid after the fact? Hell fucking no. And you still have yourself? benefits and shit? And still be like on top of it, macking and shit? Man, half of the barbers I see these days wear the same fucking shoes they did in third grade. Man, half of these niggas, they go out and spend their whole check on a pair of shoes. Nigga, I can buy five pair of shoes and still have money left over to go do what the fuck I want to do with. Half of y'all motherfuckers out there got to save at least three month paychecks just to buy some fucking rims for your car. Nigga, three months? Nigga, you know what? You, you give me like some rims, nigga? Let's go get some. Right Who now. Who go get them right now? Right now. Right now. Right and now. And still not have to pay for them hoes. You know why? Military discount. discount. Next. Nigga, all right, no good studs. Let's get on y'all right quick. All right, let me let me let me start off with this one. Go ahead. Let me bro. start off with this one. All right. What my definition of a motherfucking no good stud is the lazy ones. You know what I'm saying? The ones that just trying to get over. I'm gonna do this real quick and make a quick buck. You know what I'm saying? That little I'm gonna go in the corner and sell some shit real quick. You know what I'm saying? So I can put some money in my pocket. But guess what? The money you just made. It's put gas in your car to get your ass back on the fucking corner you just came from. Nigga, get a real job. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with a real job. Do that. Because for what? While you out there making out, you might make you a couple of hundred on the corner or whatever. That's real something. quick or whatever. But with quick money, come quick time. And when we say quick time, nigga, we mean easy to get locked up. Jail, baby. Then what you gonna do then? Because now your girl fucking me. Your girl is at my spot. She all up on my job. Yes, that type of shit, nigga. Feel me? That type of shit. No good start on my end. I'ma say one of them niggas that stay at home with moms, don't got no job, probably the same nigga that just got locked up for selling weed or trying to sell weed because they think they adult girl. On top of that, Thank they that got nigga. about five baby mamas or whatever, and the kid ain't even yours. You wouldn't even dare to you be you with, it, right? but you claiming this kid as if it's yours. You going out trying to buy this little kid forces and shit, but you looking ate up. And just because you buy baby forces don't mean you got money either, because baby shoes don't cost shit. $32, nigga. Nigga, probably $25, nigga. $10, nigga. What what you what we got? Shoe show payless nigga. You wanna get your kids some some dang payless light up nigga. nigga for real. We walking nah, Jordan, your baby walking shacks. Nigga, I heard of that shit, nigga. What the fuck? Right. Shacks. For real. Some Shaquille O'Neal's, <laughs> some K Mar shoes, nigga. That's all you can afford. <clears throat> Man, baby mamas be smart. Go get you a nigga that got bread. And that's the other wait a minute. That's the other part right there. For these chicks that wanna have a baby daddy and a stud daddy. We ain't hearing that shit. Either it's one or the other. You ain't finna be getting child support from this nigga and then making me buy all the shit too. So you go out and not spending this $500 on whatever you want to get. But your kid is in here looking all fucked up and shit. Got boogers and shit hanging out their nose and shit. Come on, man. Studs and films. Get y'all selves together. Another thing is, I ain't trying to bag on the baby mamas because maybe it was a bad mistake. But don't call me. It ain't mine. It ain't my baby. I shoot blanks. Feel me? Nigga, I don't shoot shit every now and then. You know what I'm saying? I don't you know what I'm saying? Half you know of the saying? time I just be, hey. Sorry, you know I can't saying? get up. The next one is cut off. Cut off, bro. One night stands. If you came on a Friday, you leaving on a Friday. We ain't here that sleeping over. You ain't finna get no eggs, no bacon, no pancakes. You ain't get none of that shit in the morning time because you ain't supposed to be there. Nigga, leave my $200 on the nightstand and get the fuck on. So give example. 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 Shy to say she want to come spend the weekend with mm -hmm. us. All right, cool, bet. Sunday morning, we go to church. Uh -huh. So I did this right here. If you ain't trying to go to church with us, you ain't staying the night. At all. With the one night stand part, Shotty. 
if we fuck on that Friday night after the club, this is what you need to do. Get all your shit together okay. and get the step. And then, especially if you know you're on one night stand, especially if I know you're on one night stand, don't expect me to be nice with you. We ain't gonna be nice about that 